In this video, you'll see how to color dashboard item elements such as pie segments or chart series points. You can choose whether to use a global color scheme providing consistent colors for identical values across the dashboard or a local color scheme that provides an independent set of colors for each dashboard item. The dashboard is already connected to the support table containing customer support service statistics. Let's create a pie dashboard item, drag the ID field to the value section and specify its summary type as count. Then drag the issue type field to the argument section. Next, create a chart dashboard item. Drag the ID field with the count type to the value section, the product name field to the argument section, and the issue type field to the series section. You can see that pie segments and chart bars corresponding to the normal and critical issues are colored with identical colors from the global color palette. If you want to change colors that were automatically assigned, click the Edit Colors button and specify the required colors in the Global Color Scheme dialog. Click OK to see that the critical issues are colored in red, while the normal issues are now colored in blue. Let's imagine that urgent issues will be added to our database in the future. You can predefine the color of such issues using the Color Scheme dialog. Click Edit Colors, and in the Invoke dialog, click the New Value button. In the New Value dialog, type Urgent and click OK. Specify the required color for the added value, and again, click OK. To add urgent issues to our data source, click the Edit button in the Data Source tab and remove the Where clause. Click OK. You can see that urgent issues are added and colored using the predefined color. Let's see how to create a new color table containing combinations of dimension values that are not present in our dashboard at the moment. Enable the top N feature for the product field and set the count to 2. Now go to the Design tab and click the Local Colors button to use a local color scheme. You can see that colors predefined in the Global Color Scheme are discarded to default values. Click the Edit Colors button and use the New Color Table button to add a new color table. In the Invoke dialog, add the product name, issue type fields, and click OK. Then add a new value corresponding to the combination of the web forms and normal values. Click OK and specify the custom color in the Select Color dialog. To color all combinations of products and issue types with different colors, select Color by Hue in the Product Name context menu. You can see that the bar corresponding to the web form's normal value is colored with the predefined custom color. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.